The pandemic has disrupted many walks of life and among the first to feel the effects were colleges and universities. After an extended break, education has resumed for Roxbury Community College, though with some additional challenges. To tell us what that means is the college president, Dr. Valerie Robertson. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, doctor. Thank you for having me. Doctor, the first thing I have in mind, uh, and I guess this goes for many places, but you know, this is the middle of the semester. This comes down very suddenly on the students, especially some students who are going to be finishing. You know, at least they thought they were going to be finishing pretty soon. Yeah. What does it yeah. mean now? Well, it means that they've got to make a huge adjustment, which um, we've been working with our faculty and we reverted all of our classes to remote learning, which means different things for different disciplines but it means for the students that they have to become adapted using new technology and um, interacting over the internet in a way that they've never had to do before. Because one of the things that I was also worried about is that you have some programs that depend, uh, I think, on workplace learning as well. Um, how do you convert that at a time like this? Yeah, so what we found is that faculty are extremely creative. And um, they've made videos of um, things that students need to learn. Um, we had a great simulation space, and so we've been able to simulate some of the exercises. Um, it's depending on our accreditation agencies working with us to come up with alternative ways, but everybody's working together across the country to make sure that students, especially in, in healthcare and in IT, where a lot of the students would be taking interns, internships, um, that those students are able to complete their work. You recently started a, a, a smart building technology program and you had yeah. some things that were uh, built into the school. Have you been able to repurpose that somehow? Yes, um, in fact, um, many of those classes were already online. And again, we've been working with um, some of the test creators to be able to do those things virtually as well. Uh, what about uh, the technology gap for students? Because, it, you know, th this is hard enough for students who go to elite colleges and who are used to having plenty of internet connections throughout their entire lives. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with students who are transitioning toward this. What's it like uh, for them to catch up? Mm -hmm. So, you know, thanks to a lot of philanthropic organizations across Boston, their um, students have been able to access technology even some of the cable um, and internet providers have been able to provide significant discounts or offer these services for free. So that's helped quite a bit. And then the college itself um, made an investment to be able to give students without technology, the laptops and the hotspots that they needed to continue their education. Now, your, your student body, we're not just talking about 18 to 21 year olds who would otherwise be living with their parents. You're talking about people who might be older, who might be raising families on their own, who, who yeah. work um, maybe many hours a week and all of a sudden they're unemployed. Uh, I mean, how are they gonna put this together? Well, you know what? I think the, the good thing about our students, and you're right, they are older. They're also resilient and they're hardworking. And so, what they've been able to do is to reinvest their time. So if they're not working, now they have really kind of plunged into their studies and they're thinking about the future in terms of being prepared to be able to recapture those jobs. And oftentimes that means education. So um, what I'm seeing is that students are really um, taking advantage of this quiet time and learning what they need to learn to be able to be ready for those jobs when the economy opens up. I think uh, students at RCC and many other places are also going to be worried about student debt. Uh, we have no idea what the economic recovery is going to be like and when mm -hmm. it's going to start and really kick in. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think about the needs for students who are going to be faced maybe with paying back some loans when they finish? Yeah. So the great thing about RCC is that um, most of our students do not take out loans. 80% um, of them qualify for financial aid. And that means that they won't have that burden of debt around them. That's one of the things that I'm really glad that we've always made that decision to discourage students from taking out loans and we've kept our tuition affordable enough for students to be able to, um, you know, cover the expenses without taking out any debt. Well, right now you have registration just started for the summer program. We did. Uh, did you make any changes in the summer program in the light of what's just happened? 
We did. We um, really determined that we weren't going to offer face-to-face -face classes um, until we have classes in July, which um, we are hopeful that things will be back on track. But if they're not, then we're able to make that conversion before students register. And the one thing I will also mention is that the, the good thing about this now is that students understand what it means to take classes remotely. So, you know, you mentioned that kind of making that conversion in the middle. The, the good thing about summer is they will know that these are classes that will not be face to face. And I think that students will be better prepared and better able to be successful in that format. Uh, well, the registration program uh, period means you got to make decisions about w what makes sense to take. Is there any way that students can talk to somebody at RC about that? Oh, RC yeah. Before they make a decision? Oh, yes. And in fact, all of our student services have gone remote. Everything from tutoring to financial aid to um, registration, all of that we are prepared and our numbers forward from um, our building. So you'll be able to get a phone call back and um, we will make sure that in fact, we're hand, holding your hand even tighter now 